लेवेंथ प्रॉब्लम इफ द स्ट्राइट लाइन्स इफ द स्ट्राइट लाइन्स थ्री एक्स प्लस वाई प्लस फोर इज इक्वल जीरो एंड x प्लस थ्री वाई प्लस फोर इज इक्वल टू जीरो कट द को ऑर्डिनेट को ऑर्डिनेट एक्सेस इन कॉन साइकिलिक पॉइंट्स देन द इक्वेशन ऑफ द सर्किल देन द इक्वेशन ऑफ द सर्किल सर्किल पासिंग थ्रो द Point C, that means concyclic points. So options will be given. So we have shortcut, right on. If two lines. If two lines a one x plus b one y plus c one is equal to zero, and a two x plus b two y plus c two is equal to zero, cut the coordinate. एक्सेस कोऑर्डिनेट एक्सेस इन कॉन्साइक्लिक पॉइंट्स कॉन्साइक्लिक पॉइंट्स देन ए वन ए टू माइनस बी वन बी टू इज इक्वल टू जीरो दिस द कंडीशन एंड द सर्किल is given by a1 into a2 x square plus y square plus a1 a2 into cx plus b1 b2 into cy plus c square is equal to 0 so this is the formula you have to remember sometimes see if the straight lines a1x plus b1y plus c1 is equal to 0 and a2x plus b2y plus c2 is equal to 0 cut the coordinate axis in con cyclic points then find out some missing values coefficient that means either a1 b1 c1 or a2 b2 c2 then this condition has to be applied a1 a2 minus b1 b2 is equal to 0 So, if you want to find out equation of the circle, you see a1 into a2 x square plus y square plus a1 plus a2 into c of x plus b1 plus b2 of cy plus c square is equal to zero. Here, you remember the constants are same here, four four. So, substituting here, a1 means three, three into one three. Of x square plus y square, a1 plus a2, four, sixteen x plus b1 plus b2, four, 
16 by c square is 16 is equal to 0. So, therefore, 3 x square plus 3 y square plus 16 x plus 16 y plus 16 is equal to 0, not y square, this is y only. So, 16 x plus 16 y plus 16 is equal to 0. This is the required equation of the circuit. Next twelfth question. The Karu given by x is equal to t square plus t plus one and y is equal to t square minus t plus 1, where t is a parameter. t is a parameter represents represents 1 a pair of lines to an ellipse 3 a parabola fourth a hyperbola. hyperbola. So, that means, we have to eliminate t from these two equations, we get a equation of a Cartesian equation of a curve. From that Cartesian equation of a curve, we have to determine whether it represents a pair of lines, an ellipse, a parabola, hyperbola. So, let us eliminate. Here, see the int add these two. So, x plus y, what do you get now here? t, t gets cancelled, 2 of common t square plus 1. Subtract these two, x minus y. See what do you get here now? t square, t square cancel, 1, 1 cancel, you get 2 t. Okay. Here you can write like this now, x plus y by 2 is equal to t square plus 1, say equation 1. Now, here t becomes x minus y by 2, substitute this value here t is equal to x minus y by 2. You get like this x plus y by 2 equals to x minus y by 2 whole square plus 1. So, if you simplify you get an equation. So, that is not at all a pair of lines ellipse hyperbola definitely it represents a parabola. It is a parabola. 